Right now, this metal is liquefying because it's getting friction welded. It's spinning the part so fast that it's melting and fusing to the shaft, which will become our giant screw. And then this screw will get roll formed into shape, which hardens it and makes it extremely strong. So after our static jaw comes back from being broached, we need to match it up with a dynamic jaw and we need to finalize the machining of the dynamic jaw to perfectly match up with our static jaw. Or the next step for these dynamic jaws is to clean up the cast finish. You can see the finish on the head here is different. This is very raw, straight from the foundry. Finish and form is important. So we take a grinder to this, we clean it up, we level this all out, then we'll do some hand sanding if necessary. And then we take a needle scaler and we actually punch through and texturize this so that it looks like a raw, good casted part again. And when we paint that, that shows through in the paint, it just looks really good. So this similar to the dynamic jaw, there's no weird bumps or higher points or valleys in our casting for this. Once that's done and we have a good batch to send out, we'll send it out to get painted on our truck and it comes back on that exact same palette. 